I am Minimal from Commerce Department. Uh, in the previous class, Sherina Miss introduced about the e-commerce. Uh, we are sharing the e-commerce subject. That is your open course uh, by Sherina Miss and me. So, first class is uh, introduced by the Sherina Miss. Okay, I think you know about the e-commerce. First of all, I think all are well and safe in your house. Okay. About the subject, Sharnam is introduced the special definition and the features and the difference between traditional commerce and the e-commerce. So, you get an idea about the e-commerce. I think new gen uh, already know about the e-commerce and they are addicted with the e-commerce then in today's class i want to discuss with the, the history of e-commerce from 1970 onwards the e-commerce is introduced what is the meaning of e-commerce Electronically make the transaction of commercial transactions. That means converted the commerce into electronically. So e-commerce means the facilitation of commercial transactions electronically. So we use different methods of electronics in the commerce or commercial transaction. That means e-commerce. So, in 1970, they introduced two technology for the development of e-commerce. What are they? What are the two technologies adopted for the e-commerce? That means EDI and EFT. What is the meaning of EDI? That is Electronic Data Interchange and Electronic Fund Transfer. These are the two technologies developed for the e-commerce transactions. By using these two technologies, all commercial transactions are done through electronically. Okay. For this, EDI and EFT is developed for allowing business to send commercial documents like purchase orders or invoice electronically. Usually, in the traditional commerce, all customers go to the shop and select different types of products and give to the counter of billing. So, first of all, when we take the products, that means giving purchase orders. We collect the products and give to the uh, bill counter for giving or uh, uh, for giving the invoice or bill so after that the uh, the customer goes to the cash counter and pay the cash payment and collect the goods which are billed okay these two documents are processed through electronically what are the commercial documents the purchase orders invoice like the documents are transferred or changed or communicated through electronically. So, in 1970s, the first introduction is they developed two technologies that is electronic data interchange and electronic fund transfer. Through these technologies, what are they doing? The commercial documents are electronically processed. What are the commercial documents? The commercial documents, example for the commercial documents are purchase orders or invoices. These documents converted into electronic. Okay, so this is done in 1970s. Then next development in 1980s. What is the development in 1980s? They provide 
EFT into different methods. Electronic fund transfer is changed with different categories. Uh, the financial institutions like the bank give credit cards and the ATMs, telephone banking, etc. By using these documents, they develop the, they uh, make the e-commerce transactions. And the credit cards, the growth and acceptance of credit cards. Banks issue credit cards to different the customers, sound financially sound customers. What is the meaning of credit cards? The financial institutions like bank advance some money to the customers, financially sound customers. So they can uh, purchase goods. The amount they have in their account, more than the amount they have. Bank, uh, uh, I give an example. If in my account only 10,000, if I want to purchase 12,000 rupees uh, for any product, then for that purpose, we use the credit cards. That means bank gives a loan facility for rupees 2,000. In my account, only 10,000, but I want to withdraw 12,000 rupees. These type of uh, facilities or loan facilities given by the bank by using the credit cards. Then the ATM, all of you know about the ATM cards. What is the full form of ATM? That is automated teller machines. That is the meaning of ATM. All, must, all students must note in their notebook all the points. These are important uh, theory part of uh, e-commerce. E-commerce is a theory paper. So you must note down the important points. So in 1980, the e-commerce growth in the level of uh, giving the fund through or by using the credit cards, ATMs and the telephone banking. Also, they developed the reservation system through the uh, technology. That is airline ticket reservation, railway ticket reservation, etc. These developments are made in 1980s. Next change comes in 1990s. What is the development in 1990s? We using the dot coms or internet startups. That is internet commercialized and the users flock to participate in the form of dot coms and internet startups. The growing stage. They developed the internets or American companies or English companies make different internet technologies, developed uh, different internet technologies and they uh, all customers participate in uh, e-commerce through the dot coms and the internet startups. Also, innovative application ranging from online direct sales to e-learning experience, not in the field of e-commerce, but in another field that is e-learning, we want to learn something about the any product or any organization uh, or any business concern, we use the e-learning experience. So by using the internet, we learn, electronically learn about different transactions, different products, different companies, different business organization, etc. These are done in the, that is the growing stage in 1990s. Next change, that is the uh, peak stage is in 2000s. In 2000, the English companies start the World Wide Web. That means WWW. The meaning is World Wide Web. It is introduced or offered by the European and American companies. It will help to the e-commerce very, very popular. Okay, then since then people began to associate a word e-commerce. After the introduction of WWW, that means World Wide Web, 
most of the consumers or the citizens go through the e-commerce that is the peak stage of the development in this 2000th century many of them depend upon uh, the e-commerce so this is the history of uh, e-commerce okay 1980 1990 and the 2007 2000 uh, first starting 1970 then the growing stage 1980 then 1990 and last peak stage is 2000s okay next category next uh, i want to discuss about e-commerce categories what is the meaning of e-commerce categories there are uh, the categories is studied by dividing two categories that is two major categories and other categories there are different categories in e-commerce the total categories firstly divided into two major categories and other categories okay what are the two major categories that is b2z and b2b these uh, B2C, what is the meaning of B2C? That is business to consumer. That is the meaning of B2C. Okay. Business through the website attract the consumers. Online transactions are made between business and individual consumers, is known as business to consumer. There are two parties that is the business organization and the consumer business organization directly contact or link with the consumer by using the web or the uh, internet okay examples amazon.com ebay.com etc that is the first category business to consumer next one business to business that is b2b business to business that is one business concern connect with the another business if any business organization that means sometimes it will be manufacturing organization or wholesalers these type of organizations connect with the small traders that means retailers or franchises etc this is the main transaction business to business so these two are the two major categories please note all students two major categories are business to consumer and business to business business to consumer means business directly communicate with the consumer second one b2b that means business to business one business organization communicate with another business organization that means b2b other categories first one is b2g e-commerce what is the meaning of b2g that is business to government business to government e-commerce or b2g is generally defined as commerce between companies and the public sector what is the meaning of public sector that means in this case it is the government many transactions of the companies or business linked with the public sector sometimes business organization must give must approach the government for getting sanctions license or e-filing etc for these purposes all business organization approach government through the website or the internet this commerce is known as b2g it refers to the use of the internet for public procurement licensing procedures and other government related operations example if uh, the shopkeeper collect gst from the customers then the what is done by the shopkeeper he will make a document or statement of the GSTs collected from different parties and it will be filed or it will be submitted to the government through e-filing. 
before the 15th of next month. Likewise, different types of filing reports that is provident fund, ESI, etc. So business related to the government, business approach the government for different purposes, that type of transaction is known as, that type of category is known as B2G. Okay. Next category is in the other categories. Second one is C2C. What is the meaning of C2C? That is consumer to consumer. One consumer is communicated with the another consumer for making the commerce transactions. That means one first consumer that is the seller, another consumer is the buyer. First consumer wants to sell his own car to another person and another person that means another con any consumer wants to purchase the car. For these transactions it is called by C2C or consumer to consumer and in another words it is seller to buyer. Okay. There is an example. Uh, we are using the old products or second hand goods purchasing we, uh, and selling. We approach the OLX. That is the best example for C2C e-commerce. Here the example given by me is Mary buying an iPod from Tom on eBay. So who is the buyer? Mary buying an iPod from Tom. So, Mary is a consumer, he is a buyer, she is a buyer. Tom, who is the seller? Tom is the seller, he is also a consumer. So, consumer to consumer means Tom to Mary. Tom wants to sell an iPod and Mary wants to buy an iPod. So, there is a communication between Tom and Mary. That type of transaction is known as C2C. Okay. Me selling a car to my neighbor. Here, me is a consumer and my neighbor is another consumer. Me is the seller, neighbor is the buyer. So, any type of this transaction is known as C2C. That is consumer to consumer. Next one, G2C. That is government to citizen or government to consumer. All government is preventing or take care of the social welfare, economic welfare of the society. For this purpose, the government makes different types of scholarships and pensions or different types of loan facilities and different types of welfare facilities etc. For giving this uh, information, they use G2C, that is government to citizens. In this, uh, this model is also a part of e-governance. Another name for G2C is the e-governance. E make the e-governance means electronic governance, governance. Government give information through electronics to the to their citizen. The objective of this model is to provide good and effective service to each citizen because the government stayed for the protection and welfare of the society. Who is the society? That is all citizens of the country. For developing their social and economical development, they give good and effective service to the citizen through the G2C transaction. The government provides the following facilities to the citizens through website. You know the ration shops and the supplies, supply costs, uh, electricity office. Give message to the information about the supply of products and the date of payment of the electricity. Uh, give the any scholarship provided by the government. Uh, or any other facilities. Uh, nowadays, at the time of lockdown, uh, uh, the government gives many type of uh, uh, food kits, 
and uh, different types of facilities to the citizen these type of uh, information is given by the government to the citizens through the website then information of all government depart departments if the uh, at the time of advance tax payment period or advance tax uh, payment date or income tax payment date any uh, date of the payment is changed the likewise or uh, all informations given by the government through the uh, website so the citizen got all informations or all, all decisions taken by the government through the internet then different welfare schemes like the widow pension and scholarship to the students and uh, women protection facilities etc unemployment uh, likewise all facilities done by the uh, government through the internet different application forms to be used by the citizens even if uh, for registering the birth registering the death registering the marriage etc likewise or uh, giving the uh, panchayat tax profession tax etc through the uh, internet by the government government gives different types of application forms for using the citizens for applying the pan card or uh, applying the passport etc so these are the important uh, uh, functions done by the government to the citizens through the uh, e governance or through the internet or through the websites okay next other category is g2b that is government to business that means the there earlier i discuss about the g2c that is government to citizen here that is government to business what is the meaning of government to business it is a business model that refers to government providing services or information to business organization likewise earlier we discussed government gives different informations to the citizens here the government gives different information through the websites or internets to the business organization different business organization have reminders about the renewal of their tax renewal of their license or any registration uh, uh, mistakes or tax mistakes if it is done by any business organization reminder will come from the government through the g2b okay so there is a communication between government to business that is g2b government uses b2g that is business to government here we will we we'll, we already discussed about government to business so government to business is different business to government is also different in the case of government uses b2g model website to approach business organization such a website support auctions tenders and application submission functionality functionalities that means business organization gives different types of auctions tenders application forms to the government so these are entirely different first is government to business that is government gives information to the business organization second one that is b2g that is business approach government through the websites or the internet that is business organization dealing with or giving application or giving uh, tender etc to the government through the website so these two are different please take note and make uh, clear and study well okay so here we will uh, we, we already discuss different categories for more information for easy to study i will make it as a chart so it is an important question or repeating question for the examination 
when you explain the theory part you draw this chart also it will be clear to the uh, invigilators and give more marks to the students for easy to score more marks you must draw these charts also okay what is the meaning of b to c that is business to consumer here is the chart business organization attracts the customers by giving advertisement or any other media any customer attracted the product of that particular business organization then the customer give orders to the website through the website website prepare the electronic documents like the purchase order and the processing website give this electronic purchase order and other fund transfer etc to the business organization then the business organization supplies the products to the customer that is the process done in b2c first of all business organization display their products through the media if any customer attracted the product then the customer gives orders through the website and website prepare electronic documents and send to the business organization after getting the business order or purchase order or the electronic document what is done by the business organization they supply the products to the customer okay that is the b2c next one b2b that means business to business so usually business organization here means the manufacturing companies manufacturing organizations manufacturing concerns when the a manufacturing company produce any products then they will inform the wholesalers the wholesalers give orders to the business organization in bulk through the websites websites make electronic documents like purchase order and the fund transfer etc to the business organization after getting the purchase order the what will be done by the business organization they supplies goods to the wholesaler then the duty of the wholesaler starts wholesaler give again give advertisements to the uh, customers for attracting their products if any customer interested in their product they will give order to the wholesaler so this is the procedure again i will discuss first of all manufacturing organization produce different types of products and give information to the wholesalers through the media or advertisement etc if any wholesaler interested to purchase the product then through the website they give orders to the business organization after getting the order business organization supplies the goods to the wholesaler then wholesaler distribute their products to the customers by depending upon the retailer or by using the e-commerce that is b2b next one b2g that is business to the government so business organization for getting any application for giving any application tender auction etc or or filing the uh, gst uh, or esi or prudent fund etc using the website to the government business organization communicate to the government by using the website that is b2g e-commerce next one c to c that is consumer to consumer i told earlier there are two consumers or customers first one is the seller and the second one is the buyer there is a buyer and there is a seller then we will make a transaction the first customer wants to sell their product and the second customer wants to purchase the same then there is a business transaction will occur so if any customer wants to sell their products then they place a advertisement through the website uh, there is an example oil x if any customer 
sell wants to sell the product they give advertisement to the uh, oil legs then another customer wants to the same product they will reach the oil legs so in the oil legs website there is a consumer 1 and consumer 2 consumer 1 is the seller consumer 2 is the pro, uh, buyer then the terms and conditions are communicated both are willing to make the transaction the customer one receives money and the customer two receives the product when the customer two is ready to give money to the customer one then customer one is willing uh, ready to give the product to the customer two so this is the transaction in c2c that is customer one is the seller customer two is the buyer seller and buyer go to the same market and they will exchange their product for the monetary that it means customer one seller gives the product to the buyer and buyer gives the money to the seller so this is the c2c comp next one G2C that is government to the citizen the communication done through the website or internet uh, certain information for the welfare of the citizen given by the government to the citizen through the internet like any scholarship or any pensions rations any food facilities or any uh, securing or safety measures it uh, all these type of uh, informations for the social economical welfare of the citizen done by the government through the website uh, by using the e-commerce the next one g2b that is government website business organization government gives instructions to the business organization by using the website sometimes any business organization have any mistakes in the legal running of the business organization or any uh, delay or default in their procedure uh, at that time the government will give reminder to the business organization through the website that means g2b e-commerce so these are the other categories we also include the other categories means for easy writing the exam for the student i conclude these other categories as consumer to consumer then mobile commerce or m commerce e-learning e-government these are also uh, already discussed earlier but i concluded it as other categories consumer to consumer mobile commerce e-learning and e-government okay so for the exam you must write in brief all the categories if there is four mark question or 10 mark question okay next we will discuss about the benefits of e-commerce uh, at the time of uh, discussing about the traditional commerce and uh, the e-commerce there are many facilities done uh, by the by using the e-commerce is already explained by sherina miss i think all know about the, clearly the what is the difference between traditional commerce and the e-commerce here for discussing about the benefits of e-commerce we divide the benefits into two that is benefits to organization and benefits to consumers for easy explanation the, the division is very useful so first of all we will discuss about the benefits to organization what are the benefits to organization global reach that is international relation or the international curve what is the meaning of globalization that is international utilization 
international approach is also known as globalization so globalization is a best benefit to the organization we can make international transactions likewise oh, okay next benefit is cost reduction we can avoid the intermediaries we can avoid the delay we can collect easily the money so money chain also very easy what is the meaning of intermediaries if we use the traditional method the manufacturing company gives the products to the wholesalers wholesalers give the products to the retailers when any consumer go to the shop and purchase the product then what they hear from the mouth of the salesman what is the what are the features said by the salesman it is only the knowledge of the consumer but at the time of avoiding these intermediaries what is we or the business organization get they can easily get the consumer and they can avoid or neglect all the intermediaries like the wholesalers retailers salesman etc so the organizations make cost reduction if the products cost is reduced then they will make or increase their profit rate uh, business organizations motive is increase the profit and decrease the cost or minimize the cost and increase the profit for getting more profit they must reduce the cost so it is easy by using the e-commerce next one supply chain improvements what is the supply chain at the time of we uh, discuss in the chart the supply chain means the manufacturing organization gives the products to the wholesaler then wholesaler gives the products to the retailer retailer gives the product to the consumer so there is that is the supply chain manufacturing organization next range is the wholesaler next stage is the retailer next one the last one is the consumer so this supply chain is to be improved only shortcut manufacturing organization and the consumer they can avoid the uh, wholesaler and retailer okay then next one extended hours by using the traditional method there is a fixed time for the shop uh, usually uh, in our area 10 am to 7 pm these only the duration for the shopping but in the case of e-commerce already sharnam has discussed there is a 24 hours work at any time at 12 pm or 12 am at any time they can purchase the products within 7 days in a week there is 7 days there is no holiday so in a year 365 days they can uh, make their transaction commercial transaction purchasing goods selling goods like that okay so there is an extended hours no restriction for the shopping time next one customization customers can take the product with their taste with their economical standard that means price within their limit they can make the product that means customization they like customers liking is satisfaction is done through the e-commerce or that is the benefit the customization the uh, organization get best customers through the e-commerce the last one improved customer relations organization can give clear cut explanation about their products to the customers directly if we go through the all sellers and retailers and to the customers what is the customer who is the person uh, linked with the customer that is the salesman or owner of the retailer if what a, what will be said by the what will be come from the mouth of a salesman it will be collected by the customer if any uh, misguidance or any uh, 
wrong feature is made by the or explained by the salesman it will be catched by the uh, customer at that time they will go in the wrong direction but in organization no clear cut no about the features of their product qualities of their product the price comparison of their product they well known about the features of their product so they can explain it easily to the customers directly so misunderstanding or malpractice or misguidance it can be avoided by using the uh, e-commerce so these are the benefits to the organization make note all points and give explanation for the same global reach cost reduction supply chain improvements extended hours customization improved customer relations next one benefits to consumers more products and services what is the benefit of consumers they get different products of the market and they get a direct service from the company itself cheaper products and services they can avoid the mediators organizations avoid the mediators so they can get the cheaper products and get the best service from the organization instant delivery they can you can get the products in your door delivery so easily can get the products in your location and get the best service from the business organization information availability uh, all information about the products or we can compare different products by using www any product you can search in uh, websites or by using internet etc then the participation in auctions there are different auctions uh, uh, done by different business organizations different offers uh, festival offers or like that at the time uh, all customers or all consumers can participate in auctions so these are the benefits of e-commerce benefits to consumers is more products and services you can choose the best one from the uh, market by using the websites and you can select the cheaper products and good service instant delivery to the to your location that is door delivery that is information availability that is all information you can collect through the websites and you can uh, all consumers can participate in different auctions to sum up what are the advantages of e-commerce uh, earlier i will discuss about two categories benefits to the organization and benefits to consumers almost along with the organization and consumers we can conclude that what are the advantages of e-commerce faster buying faster selling procedure and we can easily find out the products and buying and selling through 24 hours or through all days in any year more reach to customers there is no theoretical geographic locations or limitations in the rural area developed area village city no partiality uh, the customers and the business organization can reach anywhere in the world low operational cost and better quality of services uh, they can avoid the intermediaries so the operational cost is very low they can you can or any consumer can get the best quality products and better quality services from by using the e-commerce no need of physical company setups you can directly contact with the business organization to the customers physical companies no need that is that means wholesaler retailer we can avoid or neglect these type of mediators and easy to start and manage a business because business organization directly contact or communicate with the government or business to business so easy and easy to start many many type of business industries organizations uh, for the uh, for making huge profit 
and customers can easily select a product from different providers without moving around physically we uh, uh, in this time in the critical stage of this lockdown also many customers many citizens uh, purchase or sell their products through the uh, through the websites so customers can easily select their products by using the website without going the outside or without going any shop etc okay so these are the advantages of e-commerce next one disadvantages of e-commerce unable to examine products personally that is the traditional traditionally we go to the shop and select the product that is unable to examine the products uh, we can't see we can't touch we can't test the product then not everyone is connected to the internet sometimes we can't reach the internet some locations very slow internet likewise that uh, there is the that is the problem of internet facilities the if any uh, link connection or uh, slow in the internet it will affect the e-commerce there is the possibility of credit card number theft uh sometimes hijacked by uh, brilliant technologist uh, uh malpracticing the credit card so there is a possibility to hijack the card and theft of credit card by hijacking the number etc so there is a possibility of malpractice and the next one mechanical failures can cause unpredictable effect on the total process example if we uh, see the product in the uh, media that means uh, sometimes lab sometimes computer sometimes mobile we see a pink color but there is a different types of pink colors dark pink light pink medi medium uh, colored pink like that at that time we see the pink that is very interesting uh, like the product we gave order but when we uh, when the product is reaching you can't tolerate with that particular product that is the uh, uh, color which is shown in the uh, in your uh, media that means mobile or that is not match with the product we reached so uh, like that that type of uh, mechanical failures uh, then uh, sometimes credit card facilities is drop out and sometimes uh, any delay in the delivery if uh, your product uh, required a time is for uh, attending a marriage like that if the product is not reached at that particular time but 21st june is the uh, marriage date you want to put that uh, dress on that day if the product is not reached at that date then what is the need of that product so this type of um, uncertain difficulties will occur because of the mechanical failures or uh, uh, and uncertain uh, climates or uh, uh, um, shipping etc so it will affect the um, procedure so these are the disadvantages of e-commerce unable to examine the products personally not everyone is connected to the internet there is the possibility of credit card number theft mechanical failures can cause unpredictable effect on the total process okay thank you